The spring is finished. The sakura trees withers, and the new bloom of summer trees are coming in summer. So here it is. I'm going to review about the spring TV shows. And before coming to the summer TV shows, I'm going to say personal uh, reviews about uh, each, I mean, uh, each show that I have watched. So as you can see, there's a spring uh, anime seasonal shows on the line. And as of now, it's pretty, pretty cool to see it, that one. And pretty sure it's them. No, even if we call it uh, summer already, um, it's not hot summer. It's cold. It's still, still cold at the, as 24 Celsius degrees. I mean, come on. This is Japan. It's supposed to be hot, but now it's cold as, now it's 25. See, I have a proof. It's 25 degrees in Japan because of the uh, rainy season for this month. And it is uh, crazy cold as this summer. <laughs> so, here it is. So, the spring anime shows have a lot of interesting shows on the line. Some are best, some are worst. But let's talk about that one. Okay. Including the leftovers, so I have to say something. Let's go with Tate no Yusha, no Daria Gari. Now, this uh, isekai show is more on what you call trigger for the first impression, but uh, the rest of the episodes is still as chilling, chilling uh, development I have seen. So I have watched till the end, and I say it's mm, wow, impressive. Very impressive. Although the, the expectations of having the the main character to be so so serious is not what you're expecting for, because actually, um, it makes um uh, what you call this the main character develop in a positive manner, so that. Uh, all of the drama will will fade away and that's the point and uh, to say this one is a uh, it's just a fine uh, memory to not just uh, all anime fans but to to a affected audience that struck the most for the first impression and then that's all it's just one piece of the memory that something affected on, on around the world, and, and yeah, that's a gist of that. But anyway, this this is a good anime, and uh, it's pretty wor worth to watch it there. So I guess that that's a very good. Next, One Punch Man season two. Man. You know what? Um, people have a problem, but for me, I have a different uh, opinion about this one. It's not about the animation, it's not about JC stuff, but it's also about the story when animating on each scenarios. So it's says to say that I have read. Uh, it's manga. It is very good. 
but when you direct some scenes from the manga it it's like uh, going to uh, quicker in pacing and it, it, I can not follow that kind of pacing and here it, it, it ended abruptly so which means that that show it's much a uh, run on the mill unfortunately but for at least it's still good that one the, the anime the animation is good at least except the the story is jumping on all, all over uh, moments like ruin the mood there because the the actions and other fights were at, at best about average I can say so it cannot match with the madhouse or from the season one so we cannot uh, compare with that one just leave it alone and face the reality that the the, the one punch man season two has just come to this time even even the hype was there <laughs> yeah at least it's just fine uh the worthiness well i guess you just spend time uh watching short clips instead not the, the whole episodes it can waste a uh, slight time unfortunately so if you want to see more one punch man you can try reading manga or mostly in the short clips on one punch man so that you can enjoy that one and that's the point next shingenki no gyojin season 3 part 2 that is the partially the end of the arc the arc huh the arc and that is best of 10 episodes i say that is the the top animation i have seen because of that um season half, half of the season it was so good and i can uh help but to hype about that one and uh, faithfully adapted in the manga i am so happy it ends it like that but uh, let's say from later episodes i may i think i may realize that the, the last impression gave me something what I, what we do not know because it gave me a uh, cliffhanger that the, the main character have said some has said something different from the manga so it give me some uh, uh, one more chance to watch the next season probably next year on uh, fall season for the the last the, the final season to watch it's still the best uh, season on this uh, springtime and it's best to watch it there because it's very cool so yeah that's the point so next is Kimetsu no Yaiba for the first thing in my heart it caught me off guard and because this show is so perfect and I come to love the anime even in manga so after I watched the anime I found that the animation is beautiful thanks to a portable because of the not just about the animation but the the direction and the story adopted in that particular show so I happened to read the manga it was so beautiful the story the character development everything's beautiful and I'm sure that you are gonna love watching this anime even the songs are so are so good you should try listening that one 
Next is Turodo. Turodo, I don't know why, why people have turned on. So I happen to try, uh, try to watch it there because it's not just the rating, but I think the people are just uh, turned on. Even they put some clips on the YouTube there, so I happen to see that one. And it was a very good, solid story that you have uh, presented there. While even the animation is at, at best about average, the story is so good. Yeah, and I think I know why people recommended other friends to, to try watch it there and it stays true because of the uh, story that that shows uh, romantic uh, conversations between characters so that's why I happen to see so you should try that watching that one next Genja no Mango actually from Silverlink it it is uh, kind of good and I'm happy to see this uh, anime show to come into the light and uh, most of the time I, I think it's gonna be uh, comedy and romance and but since then it's a Sakai anime I, I feel that you don't want to watch this kind of anime so I respect that one and here I think that this one is it's it's a, it's great I, I find it funny because of the you know the, the cheese of how does the M, the main character come into the world parallel world and got uh, overpowered uh, uh, talents and performance he had, he had got got them to so yeah and I'm pretty amazed in that one and look at this one the rating is 8.03 <laughs> that's a uh, that's that's pretty high but the uh, but other uh, anime fans are not convinced to see that kind of rating there and I think for me is that I think the pacing is it's a kind of different uh, story because when directing something that that is fit to test 24 minutes of that particular episode the direction just pinpoint what the the main uh canon that is found in the manga and night novel it does not include uh, the other content we want to see so unfortunately it's not there already so i guess that's uh maybe a, a slight worthiness to watch it there so, so yeah but uh, just try and see it yourself and just have a uh, first impression about this show just try well the rest is i haven't watched it there so so i'll just try to skip and as well as fairy tale uh, let's see. Well, okay, Isekai Quartet, the collaborations of all Isekai anime shows, stick it to one a uh, cheapy, uh, cheapy anime show. It's very short. Now, not short as four minutes, but just as twelve minutes. And I say, I I just drop. Uh, unfortunately, I drop it because yeah i think for me that is slice of life unfortunately for the first impression because if they just come in there i just want to see some actions i'm not here to watch a slice of life so unfortunately i dropped it there mm, let's see well nande kukuni sensing i haven't watched it but i try not to watch it there because it eats my time so yeah while other fans and other uh, anime lovers 
come to watch this anime shows I haven't uh, watched it there but I'll just hold it there one next is very gun and this original TV show and I say it's uh, mm, uh, less I say less generic just less and the story is much uh, different but the problem is the it's quite complicated to make some uh, things complicating because the when you direct the show all I can say that I'm pressed that that uh, at one episode it jumbled scenes in a different uh, uh, development because this will connect to towards each character of the cast and I find it hard to remember unfortunately so yes this is a very good uh, anime show but the story is so forgettable unfortunately so I, I do love watching this one there and there's a second season yeah I think I can watch the first season is okay just watch and forget it's not hard to remember that one it's just that just watch it there and forget about it and that's all and then yeah Unjo no Makpel. I happened to watch the uh, very first episodes there. I haven't finished watching because I think I find it boring, unfortunately. Because even the story of uh, main character is so good. The the problem is a uh, few. Uh, characters on the cast which is like uh, running in the mill you just get one character of the episode and then we do the next one and uh, it's still a um, repeating part it's more than episodic and unfortunately saying that it, it's more than the it's like a day and that's it so fortunately saying it's 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 not it's not like a, a, a series to pay attention it's just only one time episode and that's it so yeah if it is still good i still not convinced that it's interesting so it's quite a little bit warm so i'm sorry let's see i hear this one mayunaka no, Okot Komui. Well, uh, that, that, that's a great rating, but for me, I think I dropped the anime because it's not about uh, boys casting. It's just that it brings me faint more, uh, more on conversational talks, talking, and then do what's the job or something I, I find it boring because the the scenarios does not impact the I think it is for me my first impression is that when you look at that one it's just oh there are very interesting characters and they have uh, female characters uh, male characters etc but the the story and the development were not just even match up. That's why I find it boring. So I guess that's it there. If you want to watch it there, I think you have to try other one there. It's not worthy to watch and I don't recommend watching this one there. So yeah, that's the point. So next is I believe that I have reviewed all of the shows I have watched and I guess uh, well 
I guess that's that's all for all of my personal reviews that I have watched these shows on spring 2019 and thank you for watching uh, my video and I hope this video might be helpful to your taste that you want to watch or dare to watch those particular uh, shows in spring 2019 so I hope you try that one and see in this if my recommendation recommendations are worth enough so yeah so I'll see you next time goodbye drink more water during summer and I hope you stay healthy and hydrated in this uh, hotly hot summer